So with Grand Summoner's most recent update, Volti LR is finally on the scene alongside the finale of Phantom Sniper's Episode 8, which is pretty interesting if you read the story because now we can actually see how it ties in to the main story of Grand Summoners. But we're not here to talk about all the lore and everything, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we can go on about the lore for a little bit until we realize that it's all convoluted and makes no sense. In today's video, it was actually supposed to be an RTA video, me trying out RTA for the first time in Grand Summoners global but then i quickly realized that rta is only available at night and not in the morning i actually thought it was available in the am so that would have to be tomorrow's video but today you already know volti lr is in the game and this man is the final phantom sniper slash phantom bullet unit from the phantom sniper saga sorry luana you don't exist anymore <laughs> Which is pretty exciting considering that Venom Snipers had a lot of hits, you know what I'm saying? We had Haruto, Priscilla, Simon, Dark Haruto, even all these characters extremely good and extremely strong. The question is, how good is Volti LR? Can he compete with the ones that came before him? Or is he kind of just a unit that a lot of people are going to sweep under the rug? Well, in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hoping to find out this answer. Also, huge shout out to the man Caleb as always for allowing me to do this showcase. As you see with his passives, we got physical damage from the enemy 20% down. We also have a still arbitrary. Trader. This gives you attack up when HP is 50% or more, but then you get damage taken 20% down when HP is under 50%. So they're pretty much 40% damage resist by default. And then finally, he has damage disable up. This just gives him more defense when negating damage. As for his kit, like I mentioned before, he is a taunt tank. With his skill, he's able to give himself 20 arc gauge. If he's not afflicted by a stats element, he gets an additional 20. Now, this is actually slightly worse than that of Emperor's because uh, he's a taunt tank, and you best believe he is going to be getting afflicted with some stats elements. As for his art, he's able to increase his own arc gauge by 50 but then he loads one phantom bullet if available and he increases his own attack by 50 percent more on the phantom bullet in just a second then he has a short which is a 30k multiplier kind of small you know what i'm saying kind of a weaker true art also he has a phantom bullet as mentioned before so his phantom bullet he can actually use this a maximum of six times during the quest but the way how it works is that it deals 38,000 percent earth damage physical times the number of phantom bullets loaded so you would take this multiplier and depending on how many phantom bullets you have loaded you times it by that so uh big deeps you know what i'm saying but if you do pop your phantom bullet you do reset however many you have loaded back to one and you reduce physical damage taken by 20 percent and you negate damage taken for a total of 25,000 for 40 seconds as for you know the equips and everything you can see we actually don't have the best in slot stuff on him we do have some pretty solid stuff though like magna arc this does give him even more physical res down if i'm not mistaken the sandstone true weapon too giving him even more damage resist and then force keratos to give him a cleanse if you want to opt in for his true weapon his true weapon is kind of decent it's a more damage oriented true weapon this is able to reduce the enemy's physical resist by 20 percent and if the user is earth you reduce it by 30 percent instead if it's equipped by volti you increase your damage resist by 10 percent and your paralysis and freeze resistance by 100 percent just for the paralysis and freeze resist by 100 percent i would say it's pretty good as for the crest you want to run on this guy i think there's a few options here if you want to really opt in for you know his tanking capabilities defense up wouldn't be bad at all if you don't really care about that then attack up if you want to you know make him hit a tiny bit harder or art gauge up to just help him get going faster i guess equipment ct2 wouldn't be bad either if you just want to like play for his defense item slot you guys know it ain't an op showcase unless we show some animations off you know what i'm saying huge shout out to my man caleb again for allowing me to do this and let's see the animation you know what i'm saying we got the attack animation there he just pulls out the blick i'm saying right to the point very simple i like it we have the skill here i like that you know he puts down i don't even know what this is is this his like coffin his cross i don't know what that is i can't tell i know it's like another gun he has but i don't even know what it, oh it's a that thing's a minigun or i said minigun lmg well the art's pretty cool i like how that looks i thought it would be more about loading shells though i want to say because he does load a phantom bullet in his art animation here he's supposed to but you don't see him do it from what i can tell and there's the true art right there really like this it's very unique it's different than what we see with other taunt tanks you guys know every other taunt tank has the freaking dash forward i hate that so much here's his phantom bullet and that looks really dope i, I love this phantom bullet. it's probably one of my favorite looking phantom bullets in the game i love the chain effect the glass break the bullet holes i like it a lot i actually like volti's animations quite a bit even though it's just more so like a gun dude bop i like it i think i really like his outfit his sprite in game i think he has a lot of sauce a lot of drip reminds me a lot of van helsing and i was gonna say gun grave but after that new game that just came out yeah i don't want to mention that no more i kind of wish he was a little bit more mobile instead of just constant gun stuff and he did like a little bit more attacks and everything so I'm going to give this boy 
a solid 9 out of 10. Now, this is actually against the Specialty X Hyper 4 Volt TLR. I don't know how hard this is. I'm assuming it's somewhat difficult because I tried to nuke it earlier and I couldn't nuke it instantaneously. But as you see here, Volt TLR is going to instantly start popping off. He's going to start getting the damage ups for the entire team. And he's also just going to be tanking the whole time. Now, one thing that I would like to see that I'm just not going to be able to is the fact that how much damage, you know, how much is he actually helping in terms of tanking and everything? Because there's no stat in game that shows how much he's actually tanking. Or how much he's helping here but i'm just gonna tell you right now the boy got hella damage resist like from this boss this is a physical damage boss he's gonna be vibing as you see here here comes the phantom bullet going crazy i'm gonna actually pop this to give him some physical res down and then uh maybe possibly do some deep oh yes yeah, lots of damage right there this is like a match made in heaven for ulti or pretty much any like taunt tank in the game the fact that you could just use someone like emperor to give him even more damage resist plus the art gauge like ooh, it's so good and then look at that the boy volti just ending off right there just bop kills him like it's nothing i'm actually curious to see if he actually hit decently hard there or not because yeah oh wow he actually did he was able to keep up with irie granted irie didn't like pop her true art too much i don't think in that fight but still it's really good he actually is hitting extremely hard even without a crest plus his multipliers being relatively low but of course you know that's not really a true challenge for a taunt take is it this is gonna be a crazy one man i don't think we've ever done a showcase before against the man ganon this is gonna be a wild one but as you see there we got all the be we need and the boy is already off to the races to say the least I think we're going to be fine. Dang, we're already doing a lot of damage. What the heck? I was not expecting that much. But then again, Emperor does have like the 150% right now, I think. Because I think second slot is against humans, isn't it? I, I can't remember exactly. And one thing that will be really nice is if Caleb can actually alternate into the Phantom Bullet here at some point. Because the Phantom Bullet does give a barrier. But not only does it give a barrier, it also gives him the huge damage resist as well. Which is going to be extremely beneficial in actually surviving, you know, the onslaught that is Ganon. Now, mind you, he does have his damage resist now because he's below 50% HP, which is good that's what we want actually and we are zooming through this what let me let me check so are we on awoken we are on awoken we are on awoken god dang this is actually insane and this man volti lr isn't even sweating bro he is fine he is vibing right now i really would like the phantom bullet to go off at some point here though to stack the extra physical resist but i think we're good in terms of like just him surviving for the most part because it seems like this man can't even keep up to him actually insane there is the phantom bullet going off now he has his big barrier popping off too this is actually crazy right here i will be honest again he said you ready for this I, I think we are ready i'm gonna be you know above 50 here i personally believe that we are ready for whatever you have thrown at us man what an absolute god oh he may die right here but i hope he doesn't oh wait phantom bullet popped off at the last second oh unfortunate damn I think that's a pretty good showcase, though. I just messed up. I should have popped my true art on Mako. But that's good enough. That is extremely impressive. To be honest, that is 100% clear. Honestly, I'm actually blown away by him. I would say that he is a lot better than I previously expected. I definitely will be looking forward to him. And hopefully, if he ever gets added to the Forever Summon... I will be able to get him eventually. But either way, that's going to be it for this video, man. Thank you all for coming out. It's been your boy P. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.